guys, it's Janie. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. Today I have a book haul. It's a rather large book haul that I want to share with you guys. Uh, it's probably going to be the only one I have for the month of March. Um, these first books that I'm going to show you, a friend of mine who's been a very loyal viewer of my YouTube sent me a, a package and there was a lot of books in there. And thank you, Andrea, so much for these books. I really appreciate it. So let's just get started here. Um, first one we got here is called Barney by Iris Johansson. This goes to the Eve Duncan series, plus it's got, it's part of the Eve Duncan and then it starts a different series. I, I don't know why authors do that, but, um, so it's like book so-and-so of this series and it's book so-and-so of this series. It's, it's, it gets really confusing, but anyway, it is part of the Eve Duncan series, so I will be getting to that one at some point because I'm reading that series. The next one we got here is Darkest Fear by Harlan Coben. This is part of the Myron Bolotar series. I do believe I have this one, but I will have to check on that. The next one we've got here is um, The Killing Game, also by Iris Johansson, also part of the Eve Duncan series. So, I, I might have this one too, but I will have to check on that. Next one we got here is called Pretty Girls by Liz Coley. I loved the cover. I thought it was interesting. In the back, that font is... I really like the font that they used on this. Um, this is a psychological mystery of a 16-year-old character called Andy Chapman. Um, she was um, kidnapped and abused and it sounds like it's something right up my alley so I'm looking forward to that. This one is Distant Shores by Kristen Hanna and I have a lot of Kristen Hanna books and I've only read one of them and I absolutely love the book. I don't know why I've not picked up more. I really need to pick up more Kristen Hanna books. She's got the greatest covers ever on her book so I'm looking forward to getting into more of her stuff. Um, this one is The Night is Alive by Heather Graham. This is in the series A Crew of Hunters, which I have a lot of the books to that series. Didn't have this one though, so um, I really need to get into Heather Graham's series because she does have several, and Crew of Hunters is one that I have the most of, so that's very helpful. Next one we've got here is Winter Girls by Lori Hulse Anderson, and I've heard a lot about this. Um, it is about eating disorders and and that kind of stuff. It's a small book, so um, I'm going to try and pick this this one up maybe this year for my W for the A through Z challenge. This one right here is really awesome. This is called Swimming to the Moon. It's a collection of rhymes without reason. And she sent me this one with Avery in mind because ex and, and in school they are reading poetry right now, so this kind of fits right in with his agenda, I guess, in school. So. Um, it's by Jeff McMahon, if I didn't already say that, and he did sign the book right up here. But this got really great illustrations, you know, short little poems and stuff. So we'll probably be going through this. And I've got <clears throat> a challenge on my 52 book challenge about reading a book of poetry. So I think I've got the perfect one. Thank you, Andrea. This next one here is <clears throat> a novel journal. And I didn't notice this before, but well, before I go any further, it's got silver tipped edges and it is a journal. But what is interesting about this and special about this is that the lines of the journal is a novel. It's a story. And my husband is the one that pointed it out to me because I didn't even notice it. And I don't know if you guys can notice that those are words the lines of the journal are words to a story. And I just thought that was a brilliant idea. So I don't know, I'm not sure that I will ever write in this journal simply because of that. So it's just, and it's beautiful. It's just beautifully done. Even the, on the cover, you can see the lines that are words. So that is something I've never seen done before. I thought that was <clears throat> great. Okay, the next one we've got here is Your Next Breath by Iris Johansson. Um, this is not, this is not Eve Duncan. This is Katherine Ling. 
So I'll have to check in on that series and see. The next one is Ask the Passengers by A.S. King. Okay, this is about a girl who is um, falling in love with a girl. And she can't tell anybody. And that's about all I know about the story. So I'm looking forward to that one. The next one we got here is The Pledge by Kimberly Durden. And I've heard about this one too. I've just never picked it up. So there's that. The next one we've got here is Wither. Um, this is by Lauren DeStefano. De De Interesting cover. And then we got The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. I've heard a lot about this book from a lot of different people. So now I'll finally get to read it. Because I've, I've just, I've heard a ton about it. So, there's that one. And the last one that I got from Andrea is the real reason for this. And that is the hardcover of It. This is the original cover. Which, my It paperbacks do not have it. And I do not have this on hardback. So, thank you, Andrea, so much. This is just, this is fantastic. It's in pretty good shape. All I can see really is just the small tear on the dust jacket. So other than that, the pages are still white. It's super heavy. This book is super heavy, which I could I don't think I could ever just read it this edition. I could probably have to keep to a paperback because it's so heavy. Okay, so those were all the ones that came from Andrea. Again, Andrea, thank you so much. I really appreciate that and the thoughtfulness and the kindness of that package you sent. So now we're moving on to the rest of these books. We went to the Dollar Tree again. And um, got four more books, and they were only a dollar each. And I was really excited, and my husband found a book, and it was just... Yeah, it was, it was fun. So the first one we got here is Mr. Creature. This is by Chris Priestley, and I just loved the cover of this book. Um, what this story is, is there's two people, they're kind of like misfits, and you wouldn't think they would come together, and one of them is called Mr. Creature, and he is, in fact, Frankenstein's monster, and he was promised a wife by Dr. Frankenstein and never got it. So now they're gonna go traipsing back there and they're going to make sure that he gets his wife. And I just thought it sounded interesting and I think I'm gonna really enjoy this story. So I'm looking forward to that one. This next one is called Precious Thing by Colette Macbeth. This is a story of friendship, two girls that just completely different personalities and now they grow up and they're still friends and they're going through some things and they kind of switched roles. The one who was more reserved and quiet and shy is the one that's got the great husband, the great job. The one that was out there, you know, mingling and being social, she is the one that's gotten herself in a little bit of trouble. And her other friend is there to cover a story and it's about her. So it sounded like it was going to be really good. The next one I got here <clears throat> is Archetype. I do have it in paperback. I did just read the book. But last time we were there at Dollar Tree, I got Prototype. Now they have Archetype to match. I was so excited to see that. I'm really enjoying the story. It's fantastic. So this story is about a civilization where women are a commodity. And fertile women is a rarity. So... There's a doctor who thinks he's fixing things, and that's all I'm saying because it can give a lot away. Amazing story. Love the writing. Yeah. This is by M.D. Waters. And the last one from the Dollar Tree is Seeker. This is by Arwen Ellis Dayton. I saw my husband looking at this book while we were standing there, and I said, oh, I, I read that book for review. And it was on my Kindle, and now we have it here. He asked me if I liked it. And I think I rated it like a four star or so, but there's a, a girl here who, this is future world, and she is to become a seeker, and she was really excited, but when the time comes, she figures out it's not exactly what she wants. Her parents aren't who she thought they were. 
da 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 and the story goes on. So um, it is a very, it's it's got a good pacing to it. It's a very good story. And then at our used bookstore, two separate visits, I picked up some more books there. And these first two are both Grand Masterton. This is The Pariah, and this is The Picture of Evil. Both of them sound great. Look at that cover. I like the cover. Um, the books are a little beat up, but that's okay. Um, yeah, you guys know Grand Masterton is one of my favorite paranormal horror writers, and he's just fantastic. So there's those. Then I picked up A Breath of Snow and Ashes. I already had this book, but my daughter is reading it right now. I told her to keep it because they had another one there, and I picked that one up. So now if I choose to read it while she's still reading it, we can. And um, I want to do it at the end of this month, so we will see. I want to take like the last week and a half to read this one. I want to keep up on this because the fire cross ended up being better than I thought. And there's answers coming in, in future books. And I just need to keep on with the series. The next one we got here is The Sweet Far Thing. This is by Libba Bray. This is the Emma, Gemma Doyle series, I think it is, or trilogy. And I have the first book, so they had this one. And they had the other book, but it was in hardback. And I didn't want the hardback since both of mine are in paper. So there's that one. The next one we got here is Asylum, and this is by Madeline Rowan. I've really been wanting to read this book, um, and I've just never had the chance to pick it up. This is about a um, old dorm that is haunted, I'm guessing, and these students are forced to stay there because the normal place is closed down or something, and things start happening, that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, looking forward to that one for sure. Next one we got is was for my husband, actually. This is called Reborn by C.C. Hunter. Um, this is a spin-off series of the Shadow Falls series. This is Shadow Falls After Dark. And this is book one. And he really enjoyed the Shadow Falls series by, series by C.C. Hunter. So they had this one. Luckily, it was the first one. So I'm sure he'll get to that. The next one we got here is Lord John and the Brotherhood of the Blade. Blade. This is by Diana Gavaldone. This is the Lord John Gray series which Lord John Gray is a character in the Outlander series, and I really want to read this one, and I think I have, I think it's only a trilogy, and I have them all now. So now I will be able to pick this up, because the very first one starts at a time period where we're already pa or I'm already past an Outlander, so I can get started on that. So there's that one. And the last one we got, uh, got here is The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. And the last book we got here is The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. This is the Blood, and Eve, Blood of Eden series. I did get this book from a coast a long time ago, but my dog chewed it up. Chewed up the, the bottom corner and it really ticked me off. So I saw they had this one at the bookstore. I picked it up so that I can replace it. Now I have this copy and that copy. So um, that copy is very readable since it was only down here. So this one will just go on the shelf and we can read the other one. Whatever. You know how it works. So there you go. That is my book haul for March. That was a lot of books. If you guys have read any of these books, let me know in the comments below and we will talk about it. Thanks again, Andrea, for the, the package that you sent me. I appreciate it. Thanks for staying tuned and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.